Hello everyone, I'm so glad that you could join me again. Today I'm here at Grey Walls, which is a country house hotel on the east coast of Scotland. I have talked about this house before when I did my tour of my previous apartment here in North Berwick. So I thought that now that it's opened up again, I would give you a little tour of the house and the gardens and then have afternoon tea. So join me and let's have a look at this together. Grey Walls is an Edwardian country house on the east coast of Scotland. It was built in 1901 to designs by the famous architect Sir Edwin Lutyens and has been run as a hotel since 1948. Grey Walls is probably my favourite house in the world. I just love its unassuming elegance and the feeling of calm and comfort it provides. It's also a famous golfing resort and even I would be tempted to give it a go with views like this. The gardens were designed by Gertrude Jekyll and no matter the season always look beautiful and interesting. One of the loveliest things about this location are the open skies. It is rare to see so much of the sky, and in Scotland they are always dramatic. The garden has surprises at every turn, and I particularly like seeing the little statues which are dotted around to please the eye. There is a real sense of peace in this garden. Living in the city, it is so wonderful to be able to escape for a few hours of tranquility. The greenhouses at Grey Walls are also really charming. Surrounded by walls, the warmth is so inviting. So I'm just here at the greenhouse at Grey Walls and the wonderful thing is that they grow all of their own plants here and then you see them dotted throughout the house in these beautiful little pots, which I think is really charming. It's just starting to rain, so why don't I show you around inside and then we can have some tea. The interior of Grey Walls is typical of Edwardian elegance, with its low ceilings and beautiful windows which look out onto the garden. This hallway is the heart of the house and the rooms run off from it. Because the space is used often, it's important that it's a comfortable space that will set the tone for the rest of the property. The fire is always lit and there is an abundance of seating so that you can relax and enjoy the peaceful setting. The library, a long rectangular room, is at the end of this hallway. It has a roaring fireplace at its heart and is filled with plump seating, lamps and flowers. It is one of the most comfortable rooms that I've ever been in. When I lived just a mile away from Grey Walls back in 2015, I would come here for lunch every Sunday. This was the perfect spot for an appetizer and to chat with friends whilst waiting to go through to the dining room. Although I do admire the grandeur of Georgian architecture, I much prefer the comforting style of Edwardian, which focuses on comfort and well-being. As we go back through to the central hallway, the original dining room of the house is on the right.
Today I'm having my tea in this charming pavilion, which is attached to the house and is nestled within the garden. On a day like this, it is so wonderful to have the door open and enjoy a moment of peace and calm. So as you can see, Grey Walls is a very beautiful classic country house and we are so lucky today because we're having afternoon tea in this very charming tea pavilion which they open during the spring and the summer months. Now, as is typical with Scotland, the weather can change in an instant. So it was raining before we went into the house and now it's bright sun. So we've got the door open and you can hear the birds singing. It's very beautiful and peaceful. So now we're gonna just enjoy this afternoon tea and join us. <laughs> So this lemon and poppy seed cake is absolutely delicious and I think you would love it too. So I think I should go home, bake my own recipe and share it with you so that you can make it for yourselves. To begin, I'm taking the sugar into a large bowl and to it I'm going to add the butter, then beat until smooth and pale. Next, I'm adding in the three eggs and I'm going to beat everything together until combined. Don't forget the vanilla extract. In a separate bowl, I'm going to add the flour, baking powder, baking soda, corn flour, and half a teaspoon of salt, and set to one side. I'm taking roughly half of the sour cream and half of the flour mixture and adding it to the cake batter. I'll mix together and then add the remaining sour cream and flour and whisk together until completely combined. Finally, I'm adding the lemon zest, lemon juice and poppy seeds, then folding everything together with a rubber spatula.
The butter is now going into a lined baking sheet and I will bake this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown. To make the lemon frosting, I have the icing sugar in a mixing bowl. To it, I'm adding the cream cheese, butter, lemon juice and vanilla extract. This is so easy, we just whisk it all together until smooth and creamy. Now that the cake has completely cooled, I'm going to add the lemon frosting. I'm cutting it into squares and then I will decorate it with little lemon wedges. I would recommend that you remove them before eating, they only serve to add beauty. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed learning more about Scotland and the local area. I will see you on Wednesday for the next edition of Tea Time Treats. Until then, have a really great weekend and a wonderful week. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>